Sorry, Joe. Do you like Anthony's girlfriend? Susan, we have been talking about this all week. May we please move on? All right, but do you? She seems very intelligent. Neither do I. <laughs> do you like her, Julia? Suzanne, we are not called upon to like Anthony's girlfriend. It's none of our business. All right, that's three no's. Charlene? You don't want to vote. Well, it's unanimous. It's a landslide. Suzanne, it's very unbecoming for us to sit around passing judgment on this poor woman we have met once. Poor Anthony. I mean, he's caught between the woman he loves and the women he works for. Reminds me of this book I read once. He's got... I bet you don't want to hear about it. I just think it's terrible the way he jumps to every time she snaps her fingers. Did you know he even takes her shih tzu to be clipped? As opposed to taking your pig to the car wash? <laughs> yes, but I paid him. You know, Suzanne, I think you might be a little jealous. Jealous? Ha, don't be ridiculous. I'm just concerned that because of this woman's insane demands, Anthony's professional duties may be suffering. Like how? Like last night. I called him around 10 p.m. to come over and open a jar of mayonnaise for me. And you know what he said? No. Well, that does it. I say we just fire him right now. Well, I hope I'm not being overly protective, and I know I'm biased. I just never pictured Anthony with such a yuppie. Julie, you hate that word. I know I do, but I can't help it if it just fits her to a T. I mean, how else would you describe somebody who uses impact as a verb? <laughs> I feel bad talking behind her back like this. I mean, no wonder Anthony doesn't introduce us to his girlfriends. We lay into them like this. Besides, she doesn't like us either. Do you think maybe she's right that we've been keeping Anthony down? Charlene, we have always encouraged Anthony. I mean, we're giving him his first big job. We want him to succeed. But this girl wants it to happen instantly. I don't think he needs any more pressure from her. I saw him in the back room swilling Maalox right out of the bottle. Well, Anthony's sure moving up in the world, isn't he? Promotion, a yuppie girlfriend, and now an ulcer. I guess that's what happens when you're skyrocketing to the top. Reminds me of a friend of my brother Robert's. You know, 25 years ago, 1964, he got his very first job at a Dairy Queen. One week later, he was made manager. I mean, that usually takes years. He was 17 years old. He was the youngest manager in Dairy Queen history. And that man's name was Bob Hafer. And what is he doing today? He still manages that Dairy Queen. He just had a real good first week. Hi. Hi, can we help you? Yes, I'm looking for Anthony Bouvier, the contractor. Oh, he's out on a job right now. Okay, I'll go see him there. I'm his accountant. I thought he only hired ex-cons. Surely you're not. Ex-jailbird, prison meat, three-time loser. Embezzlement. I'll certainly never do that again. You were in prison with Anthony? Oh, no, I was in a prison for white-collar criminals. What an awful experience. Half the time, I couldn't even get a tennis court. It was hell. Yeah. Sounds rough. But I used to hang out with the guys at night and say, listen, we don't have to take this anymore. Tonight we're going over the hedge. <laughs>